गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इन द पार्ट सिक्स वेलकम टू द पार्ट सेवन टूडे वी स्टडी चांस एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी चांस एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी प्लीज बी रेडी विद द प्रीवियस क्लास नोट्स चांस एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स वी यूज डेली इन अवर लाइफ वी से देर इज नो चांस ऑफ रेनिंग टूडे वी आर जस्ट प्रिडिक्टिंग देर इज नो चांस ऑफ रेनिंग टूडे एंड वन इट इज क्वाइट प्रोबेबल दैट इंडिया विल विन द वर्ल्ड कप वी आर मेकिंग अजम्पन सो फ्यू मोर स्टेटमेंट्स यू ऑब्जर्व प्लीज सन राइजेस फ्रॉम द वेस्ट Ganga is the river in India. India will win the test match. So of these statements what we can say the statement 1 is always false because sun rises from the east. Second statement is always true because Ganga is a river in India. so third statement is not always true or false india may win or may not win therefore we say in the statement 3 we try to find the chance where india can win so how to define chance what is chance chance is the possibility of something happening the chance of happening an event may be described as one of the following i'll give few more examples you see the next independence day will be on 15th august as we know independence day is on 15th august we call this is certain to happen definite event another example you see tomorrow will be a cloudy day it may be may not be so it can happen but not certain another example a die when tossed shall land up with eight on top a die is six sided face eight on top is not at all possible so we call this is impossible event so i repeat chance is nothing but the possibility of something happening please copy the notes by pausing the video i'll continue to the next page and the example you see if you toss a coin can you always correctly predict what you will get it's difficult to predict you see two friends are tossing coin 15 times Sushila and Salma. So they are tossing fifteen times a coin, and let us represent H for head and T for tail, and we prepare a table. You see number of numbers and outcomes fifteen times one to fifteen. Yes. So first they may get head or tail let us see first outcome head next second toss is tail third toss is tail fourth toss is head fifth toss is tail so like that we cannot predict it may be head or it may be tail so similarly i'll write all these things you see these are the 15 outcomes okay so in this outcome we do not see any proper pattern we do not get exact pattern so what is the conclusion there is no fixed pattern of occurrence of head and tail so when we throw a coin each time the outcomes of every throw can be either head or tail it's a matter of chance that in one particular throw you get either of these 
So here you count how many heads are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we see that the total number of head are 8. The to total number of head are 8. Similarly, count the number of tails. How many tails are there? 7. Please copy the notes. I will continue to the next. Try some of the examples. 15 times you have tried by tossing a coin. Similarly, you toss a coin 100 times and record the data. Find the number of heads and tails in this event. Hope you can try this. I will give another example. Aftab threw a die 250 times and got the following table. Question is to draw a bar graph for this data. You see, 1 occurred how many times? We have to write the tally marks, then write the figure, actual figure. 1 occurred 33 times. This you know, this is 5, this is also 5, it is 10, 15. 20, 25, 30, plus 3, 33. Yes. Similarly, 2 occurred 40 times, 3 occurred 47 times. Similarly, I, I will write down, I will mention 4, 5, 6 occurring 52, 38, 40 times respectively. For this, we have to draw bar graph taking scale 1 unit equal to 10 marks because tally marks are in terms of tens. So on x axis taking number of die on y axis we marked tally marks. So according to this we have to draw bar graph. 1 is 33 you see 1 is 33 mark here 33 and draw the bar graph. This is the bar graph. You know very well. So, I will draw neatly. 1 is 33. Similarly, 2 is 40. 3 is 47. Here, you mark 3 is 47. 4 is 52. 4 is 52. Next, 5 is 38. 6 is 40. This is the bar graph. I will give another question. You try. Throw a die 100 times. This is 250 times. This is 100 times. Record the data. Find the number of times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 occur in this fashion. So, hope you can answer this. Copy the question and try yourself. What is probability? Let us see. Define probability. Probability is the study of chance of an event happening. The probability of an event is a number indicating how likely that, that event will occur. Note that probability always lie between 0 and 1. Probability always lie between 0 and 1. 0 indicates impossible event never happens. 1 indicates the event will happen 100%, 1 indicates certainty, 100% that event will occur. So how to find the probability? We use this formula, probability of event equal to number of ways the event can occur divided by total number of outcomes. Please note this formula, I will give few examples. When a coin is thrown, it has two possible outcomes, always head or tail. So total outcomes are two, head and tail. So here we are finding probability of getting head. What is the probability of getting head? Using the formula you see, number of ways head can occur for this probability of getting head, we have to write down here head. Probability of 
getting head is number of ways the head can occur divided by total number of outcomes. So head is occurring only one time, one divided by total number of outcomes are two. The answer is one divided by two. I will write neatly is equal to one divided by two. Similarly, find the probability of getting tail. So the formula is number of ways the tail can occur divided by total number of outcomes. Here you see tail is occurring only one time and number of outcomes are 2. Answer is 1 divided by 2. So in this case we have seen probability of getting head is equal to probability of getting tail. Both are equal to 1 divided by 2. Another question, let us try. A die is rolled once. Find the probability of getting even number. You see, when a die is rolled once, this is the die, we are rolling the die. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The results, these are the outcomes. The outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the total outcomes are 1 to 6. 6. 6 outcomes are there. Now, here let us mention what are even numbers. Of these 1 to 6, 1 to 6, what are even numbers? 2, 4, 6 are even numbers. How many are there? Total 3 even numbers are there. Note that. Now, we are finding probability of getting even number. What is the formula? Number of ways the even number can occur divided by total number of outcomes. How many even numbers are there? There are three even numbers divided by total number of outcomes are 6. The answer is 3 divided by 6. I will write neatly you see. The answer is 3 divided by 6 or after cancellation we get 1 divided by 2. Probability of getting even number is 1 divided by 2. Hope you understood this probability. Similarly, you try the example. A die is rolled once. Find the probability of getting odd number. We have done even number. Similarly, I want you to try odd number. Please try yourself. A box contains cards numbered from 1 to 10. Find the probability of getting prime number. Now you see, a box contains cards numbered from 1 to 10. So of this 1 to 10, the total outcomes are 10 only because box containing 10 cards. Of these 10 cards, 10 numbered cards, we are writing prime number now. 1 to 10. 1 to 10 means what are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5 and 7. So these are the prime numbers between 1 to 10. Total how many are there? There are 4 prime numbers. So what is the probability of getting prime number? The formula is number of ways the prime number can occur divided by total outcomes. Totally 4 prime numbers are there and uh, how many outcomes? 10 outcomes. Answer is 4 divided by 10 or the probability of getting prime number is 2 divided by 5 after cancellation. This is the answer. Please copy the steps examples by pausing the video. I will continue to the next. Another example. A box contains 15 red balls, 9 white balls. Find the probability of getting red balls. Answer you see. Box contains 15 red balls and 9 white balls. So totally the box contains how many balls? The question is. So we have to add 15 plus 9. The box contains 24 balls. And in this 
case we are finding probability of getting red balls number of ways the red ball can occur divided by total outcomes there are 15 red balls and total balls are 24 answer is what 15 divided by 24 or after cancellation 3 5 za, 3 8 za, 5 divided by 8 probability of getting red balls is 5 divided by 8 so I'll give two more examples try yourself please copy the question hope you can try these are similar to previous examples dear students we will solve the examples from the exercise 3.4 in the next class. I will continue in the next class. Thank you.